guys, welcome back to the vlog. Now, if you're like me during COVID, you got into baking, which means you actually bought some ingredients. And now I have almonds that are gonna go bad. So rather than throwing them out, I'm gonna try to convert them into three different recipes using the whole bag. I actually still have some almond flour also that's about to expire. And we're gonna be converting all of these to treats rather than throwing them out. So first off, we're gonna start with roasting these almonds so that we can put them in the food processor and convert it into flour. Now, this still has some of the skin which we shouldn't be using, but you know what? It gives it that extra gritty fiber, so I will take it. Also, we've been going crazy. I did an experiment yesterday where I made some brownies and we also used this and some Graham crackers that we were gonna throw away also. And it's pretty cool that you can actually make use of these things before you throw them out because it's gonna be such a waste. Like I made English muffins from pizza flour that was gonna go bad. Today we're gonna to be making three things which is chocolate almond butter cookies, cream cheese almond cookies, and almond bread. So that's the three things we're gonna make. I haven't used my piping set, so I'm pretty excited to make these ring cookies from uh, Nina's Home. That's the YouTube channel where I picked it up and I hope I can do justice because I'm going to be substituting the normal flour with the almond flour. So normally you can do a one is to one substitution, but you never know the properties might change because of the wetness of the dough and the batter. So we're gonna figure all this out. Hopefully it's a success and Joey likes it. So we're actually gonna grind this down in the food processor, but for now we are going to roast them. I think I need a second bag. So we're just gonna spread this out. That is a lot of almonds. Put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. If you guys like watching baking videos, I suggest you go and visit Nino's home on YouTube. He does an ASMR baking channel and he actually never shows his face, which is pretty cool. 226 grams unsalted butter. We are going to be adding the powdered sugar to this. So I actually ended up doubling the recipe because I wanted to make more cookies so I can give it to my staff. So we're gonna need 130 grams of powdered sugar. Next, we're going to put some salt. We need about four grams of salt. I had to change my container because we are actually just gonna add all the ingredients here. I'm just gonna slice the butter real quick. Nice, slightly roasted dried almonds. Now, how fine you want the almond flour will actually depend on you. Do you want it a little gritty or do you want it super fine? This looks to me like it's okay already. I do want it a little gritty so that there's some texture to the flour, but then again, you could blitz it even more so that it becomes ultra fine. While we're waiting for the butter to melt, let's measure out the dry ingredients. So this says we need cake flour, but again, we're not using cake flour. We're gonna be using this almond flour that we just made. We need 240 grams of almond flour. There you go, 240 grams of almond flour. Next, we're gonna need some cornstarch. I'm just gonna grab the strainer just in case there's clumps. So we're gonna need about 80 grams of pure cornstarch. After that, we're gonna be adding some milk powder. This is a little clumped up already, so we are gonna strain it also. We just need 16 grams. After the milk powder, we're gonna be adding some cocoa powder. This is about 40 grams. Something about roasted almonds that smells so good. Back to mixing our butter. Next up, we're gonna add two eggs. From 
now on, we're going to mix everything by hand, just incorporating this whole thing together. All right, guys, we have a problem because the almonds are clogging the tip. So I'm going to have to use a toothpick to bring the tip in so we can just spray it from the sides. It's not what we wanted, but it's going to happen. After making some pretty odd shapes, I couldn't really get to shape it because the tip of the piping bag was stuck. So. These are the funny shapes I've made. We're going to bake it now for 12 minutes at 160 Celsius and see what comes out. I'm going to transfer this to the cooling rack. Hopefully it doesn't stick and we can remove it. I just finished putting the last batch down. I'm going to do a sample now. So it, it's hardened, but uh, it doesn't look like it's crispified, but it is firm. So. I'm gonna find out. This is more of a biscuit cookie, I guess. So here goes. I think it's quite yummy. Very almond texture, roasted chocolate, buttered almonds, pretty good. Okay, where was I? Yes. Crunchy. Sweet. Like a crisp. Not overly sweet. This is actually very addictive. Holy wow. I really wish I got the piping down so it looks prettier but still edible. While I'm waiting for the rest of the cookies to bake, I'm going to be proceeding with the cream almond cheese cookies. So all the ingredients are right here already and I just gotta whip it together. We have to be quick about this because we still have a bread recipe to follow. I'm going to start off with the cream cheese. This is the cream cheese I found at the, well, this is the cream cheese that was brought. This is 226 grams, which is exactly what we need. Next up, we're gonna add an equal amount of butter. So if we had 226 grams of cream cheese, equal amount of butter. Mm. We're gonna cream the butter and the cheese together. We're gonna add honey. We're supposed to use sugar, but I'm gonna decide to use some honey for this recipe. We are going to need about 300 grams of honey. I'm using this honey. I just set our cream ingredients aside. I'm going to measure our dry ingredients real quick. So we're going to start with about 420 grams of almond flour. Of our roasted almond flour. To the almond flour, we're going to add some baking powder. We're going to use the teaspoon measuring device and get one teaspoon. There you go. We're going to add one teaspoon of sea salt as well. Mix our dry ingredients together. In the cream butter and cream cheese, we're going to add two eggs. Just quickly incorporate the eggs and slowly add our dry ingredients.
This is how my batter looks. I had to add about 40 more grams of almond flour because the honey mixture made it a little wet for me. Now we're gonna put this in the freezer for like 20, 30 minutes so that we can get it to harden. While I'm waiting for the batter to harden up in the refrigerator, I'm having Atavi crack six eggs separating the yolk with the whites. I'm gonna be measuring the dry ingredients and proceeding to be moving to the third recipe, which is the almond bread recipe. This is what's left of our roasted almonds, which I'm gonna be dumping in here. The rest we're gonna get from this super fine almond flour. For our bread recipe, we're going to need 225 grams of almond flour. You're gonna beat the egg whites until it's stiff. After beating the egg whites, I'm also going to beat the yolks. This is the egg yolk along with the baking powder and the melted butter. I think I forgot to add the salt. We need a one fourth teaspoon of salt. Better late than never. I am using my cake form pan for this bread because I don't want to have to struggle removing the bun from the pan, we're just going to proceed to put the batter inside. Alright, put this in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius and leave it for about 30 minutes. While the bread is baking, we're gonna go back to making the cream cheese cookies. I have the trays right here. My food taster just got here. Hello, food taster. Where do I go? Well, I am heating your cookie. Hopefully it's gonna stay crispy. And over here we do have the cream cheese cookies. I'm gonna throw two pans in the oven and find out if they're gonna bake in 10 minutes. It's probably warm. Nice, and I have my nut milk. Can I dip it in my nut milk? Yeah. yeah like a kid. Like a kid. Oh. I know it should be crunchy. It was crunchy when it came out. I don't know if it's our moisture here or... Yeah, but it's still good. It's awesome. Obviously this recipe wasn't meant to be almond flour, but this is pure almond flour. I'll eat anything you make. Anything. I love it. I've been munching. I actually had three already. Did you do a letter J? No, I didn't do a letter J. You can have the star. This is a star? What's the star? Our cross. <laughs> Give me another cookie. Wait for the cream cheese cookie. Give me a cookie. Give me a cookie. Give me a cookie. Wait for the cream cheese cookie. I think I'm I'm burnt this once. Yep. I'm burned that. We're letting the bread cool down here. It looks like that is working. Sorry, I'm overexposed. This batch came out much better. Looks like it's forming, but it's still very soft. So I'll let it cool down before I touch it. Well, the, the cooked ones are more dependable. 
It would be nice if you had ice cream and you crushed it. With the ice cream. Mmm. I love it. I can taste the honey. This is cream cheese, almonds, and honey. It's so good. I love it. You can get three of these in a layer and put like ice cream, gluten free, dairy free ice cream in between. <laughs> and then you drizzle it with caramel. And it's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Are you grabbing another one of the cream cheese I cookies? I want to. It would be my third one. I think we have too much almonds today. You have too much almonds. I have only had like two of these cookies and then three or four of the others. And how many brownies? Brownies. <laughs> <laughs> my brain wants it. My I know. brain and my taste buds want it. Yeah, because it's yummy. But my stomach's like, it's getting really full and it's almost dinner. I know, that's why. I'm like, I don't think we're going to eat dinner okay. anyway. We have one last batch. I'm trying to save the other batches inside the oven now, but that's it. We're almost done. I'm so sick of eating them already. You're gonna eat another one for me for camera? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a way on how to use your expiring recipes without it going to waste. I am so tired of eating my own recipes, so I have a volunteer over here. You have to stand to camera. Right, there you go. So my volunteer my over here is eating her third cookie. I have eaten all the crumbs that have fallen off the other samples, but so good. so good, so good. Some of them are so good and some of them are so, so. Sometimes when you're adapting different flours to the recipe and it's called for, you will have some failures. I'm not always successful, but most of the time I do get it right. Right? I'll eat anything you prepare, honey. I'm just biased. Anyway guys, if you like this vlog, you know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.